Oh, well, that's uh, that's called getting wrecked, Bert. That right there yeah. is the worst case scenario. That's literally bad for everyone involved. Yeah. Being a seven and being put into an eight nine is bad enough. Let alone well, the space. thing is, like even my ship, I can't fight a Fletcher, man. Like a Fletcher will wreck me one v one anytime. Mm hmm. I got two of those. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, dude. Double Iowa, Missouri, like, that's, yeah. Missouri has radar, too, so that's, that's beautiful. New Orleans has radar. Four destroyers. This is going to be great already, I can tell. Can you tell me the role I'm of a Russian have, destroyer? Get instantly spotted and then completely smoked. Yeah, I would try angling as best as you can. Don't even show your broadside, because those Iowas will snipe you. Just use like your front turrets or something, and sit really far. You do have better concealment than them, though. The bigger battleships, like they they spotted further away. Just having trouble playing it. Yeah. Basically, you don't push in as a Russian destroyer, Soul Prince. You try to hang back and play it like a cruiser. They've got re better guns than the American, Japanese, and German destroyers. So you take their accuracy and speed into the equation. You keep a bit of distance and you just gun people down like a cruiser. That's what they specialize in. They're good from afar. On the contrary though, the higher the tier that you hit, the more XP you get out of it as well. So if you deal damage to tier 9s, it's going to be, like, multiplied. Can my shells actually do that though? Tell you the truth, if you're firing at, like, an Iowa that's not even relatively side on, I would probably try to use HE. Uh, so don't even bother using AP at all? Yeah, unless you see a broadside on like a tier 9 battleship, I wouldn't bother. Okay, there's a bliss. And a Fletcher and a New Orleans. Lovely. Okay, so this is already turning out to be pretty bad. The best we can hope for is them destroyers eating some torps. This New Orleans is going to shred me. Oh look, he's four kilometers away. Tearing this bliss up though. Even though I'm under fire from God knows what. No! 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 Please don't beach. Oh god. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. There's still a New Orleans and a Fletcher and another cruiser that I didn't uh, see. Yeah, he hasn't poked his head out yet either. To be honest, I thought I was dead there. I made it out without taking too much damage. Good morning, Taff man. How you doing, buddy? 
that New Orleans, I think he got scared that I might have sent torps towards him, so he literally just ran and didn't even shoot at me. If he engaged me from yeah. four kilometers, dude, he could have pretty much killed me there. Yeah. Especially since I already sent my torps, so I didn't have torps ready. He could have just, like, four or five salvaged me. I think we're going to push to the west side. It'll be a lot easier not taking hits from the east. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. Right. Just swing wide. I'm actually pretty excited since I've got a lot of free XP pulled. So in a couple games' time, I'll be able to just get to the Z-23, the Tier 8 Destroyer. Well, Fletcher time again. Uh. What's funny is American shell arcs are so bad, this tier 9 at this range has trouble hitting me where I'm landing pretty much every shot. He literally missed like 80% of his shots. Uh, so you see there's a Fiji, there, that's a floating sil citadel man, Royal Navy Cruiser, you hit that with AP uh, at all. I was looking at me, fucking... Yeah, just turn out or something. I mean, he won't like one shot you probably from that range and stuff, but it'll still hurt. He actually took that pretty well, to tell you the truth. Alright, looks like we're actually going to get A. We got C as well, surprisingly, so we actually have a two-cap advantage here pretty soon. I'd try to nail a shot on that Fiji. Yeah, oh, he's smoking. I heard you say it plays like a Cruiser, so if I have to play a Russian DD like a Russian CA, does that mean CA makes the DDs right. obsolete? Yes, Russian destroyers can beat... Uh, enemy destroyers rather easily, especially at higher tiers. So, for example, this is a reason right here, you see me fighting this Fletcher. Um, USDDs are the best knife fighters, which is really close, they're good because of their rate of fire, they have a high amount of DPM, but their shell arcs are very high. So their projectile speed and their, and their arcs are really difficult to hit targets with. Smoking. And that's where the Russians really shine. They have very flat arcs, so they can hit stuff at range really easily. So at any sort of distance, like, you know, 10 kilometers plus and stuff like that, Russian destroyers absolutely eat other destroyers. I always join in the fray. These guys are pissed because I'm capping right now. These torps look really good, potentially, man. Uh -huh. Well, the Fiji's there, the Iowa's there. If they reach, which they should, there's a potential I get some hits here. Potentially. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, I didn't get any. The yu gi -Oh got some fucking torps off. Sweet. That's the fucking I was breaking. Oh god, Fletcher again. Yeah, I was broke. Get the brakes on that. Well, we got the cap, but we lost C, so. It's not the best situation. I was reversing. Yeah, we're in a little bit of a problem here, though, because they have a pretty large cap advantage. I mean, we have a ship advantage, as you can see, quite a significant one, and a point lead, so we will probably be able to reel this back pretty easily. Oh, Fiji's wrecked. Can you get some shots on him? Oh, he smoked again. Set him on fire. Oh, 
thought that I was looking at. This Fiji's actually shredding out Iowa right now, unfortunately. He's broadside to him like a scrub lord. Try to nail that Fiji when his smoke ends, because I'll spot him. Our Iowa's dead. He actually just stealth killed, blind shot into the smoke, killed the Fiji. You see how vulnerable Royal Navy cruisers are? Even if you can guess where they are in the smoke, you just wreck them. Oh, got some torp hits. Oh, no. Out of range, ever so slightly. Uh, with the Yugumo? Yeah. Oh shit, this New Orleans is on my ass. I might need some backup. Alright, should I just push in? Yeah, you can. Just push towards this New Orleans of Fletcher. Is he turning into your torps? Um, if he doesn't dodge them, he's gonna be pretty wrecked. Now there's one. He dodged the right. second. I'm in a bit of trouble though. I'm gonna I'm gonna push into this uh, to spot this Fletcher. Now, if my spotting plane will do any good, but nah, he's in smoke. But I can proximity spot him. I've also got high drop, but it ends in twenty seconds, so. I'm just gonna push right into him and that'll spot him, and we can just both wreck him. I might die in this encounter, but we'll get him. He also has no tops for about two minutes. Yeah, wasted it trying to hit me. There he is. Nice kill. That ended him pretty quickly, huh? Mm-hmm. That right there, dude, do you know how much XP that is, man? Tier 9 destroyer damage? And a win? Yeah, it should be pretty nice. Yeah. For only doing 13,000... Yeah, you like got a thousand 15. base XP on a tier 6, dude. That's pretty damn good. Huh? In, you in a thousand base XP in a tier nine game is pretty damn good. Yeah.